there. We are out for a little ride again today. More so me than Ed, but hi, Ed. Oh. Came over to Pop Century today because one of our Disney friends has some special stuff for me that he's been getting his hands on while we've been stuck at home. So going to go hunt him down at his room now and see what kind of goodies I have from the special events of the past few weeks. Let's go yeah. check it out. Oh. oh. I'll sit in the car. Yeah, unfortunately, Ed's still not cleared to go roaming around Disney, so... I don't think anyone should be out there. It's a little filthy. Yeah, when you're recovering, yeah. so... I'm going to go wander into the filth and then wash my hands and all that good stuff. Yeah. But let's see what kind of goodies we got. Okay. All right, I'll be back in a few. All right, I got to remember my history lessons from school, because I have to go find the 1960s building. Hmm. Stairs are inside the yo yo. I found Josh, and you're watching Stacy. Well, yeah. what else are you supposed to watch? Wait, look at all the stuff Josh got for me. <laughs> all right, let's see what Josh got me. How to use the My Disney Experience app? Really? I'm just kidding. Ooh, you got me the opening day map. Or Food yeah. and wine. All right, here's the stuff that I really. Ooh, they had the that's cool. That. There it goes, focused. I got it. Yeah. Opening day pin. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. And the one thing that we can't get ourselves either. Epcot food and wine magnets and the Simba Animal Kingdom magnet. So, huge thank you to Josh from Practically Perfect Park Hopping for fetching these things for me so we can still feel a little bit like we're still in the parks. But huge thanks to the cast members too for allowing me to get them. Yes. For Jason. Just realize he didn't just ask, we took care of getting you my pass holder number, all of that stuff so they yeah. can validate that it really was valid for you to get them for me. Yeah, yeah, and then and, and it wasn't an issue. They just typed in the number yep. and Gave it to me. So, huge thank you. Let's go wander Absolutely. down to Ed so Let's you can go. say hi before you Let's fly go. out. Yes. It, it looks like there's going to be a hurricane out there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let's go wander. We're going to go see Ed. So, I got this snazzy gift card. It comes in this little cool envelope and it's like raised. It almost feels like leather. But what the gift card is, is the coin from Batu. And it's real thick and heavy. And a lot of cast members don't realize that it's a gift card. But what it is, it's not an extra cost, it's just a minimum amount you put on it. So if you're going to be here anyways, building a lightsaber or whatever, and it's good through the whole park, um, you just go put $100 on it, and it's yours. And it's cool. So make sure you grab one if you're into this kind of thing, because this is super unique. You don't see gift cards like this. Wow, they really went all out for Galaxy's Edge. We're, we're going to have to get back to Batu one day and check it out. But for right now, again, huge thanks to Josh for picking up our stuff. When it comes to the value resorts, this is still one of my favorite. Ed and I loved it, and it's gonna have the Skyliner in a month. So, right now at Pop, they've got this awesome Chewbacca cupcake, and Ed loves desserts. So I'm gonna make sure Jason gets to take this home to Ed, so maybe he'll enjoy a little bit of chocolate hazelnut and Star Wars. A little extra magic. All right, one of the coolest things at Pop Century is here in the lobby. Behind the check-in desk that we're actually facing right now, they have pictures from the Disney parks throughout the different decades represented here. And behind us, they have I guess I have to use the word artifacts now from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Yeah, it's cool though. Ar artifacts from, am I an artifact from the 80s? Sure. I'm an artifact from the 80s, nice. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. That's why you like Stranger Things. No, Ed likes Stranger Things. I have not seen it. Oh. Uh, let's go see what's in the same. 80s bin for us here. Let's check it out. The stuff that the 80s were made of. Oh wait, they have more over here too. Ooh, let's keep moving. I'm pretty sure my mother still had that coffee grinder. Oh, the Wendy's lady. 
Bears to me. Wow. My house had all of this stuff in it, probably. All right, so this is gonna be a short vlog today. We just had to pop out. I can't leave, I mean, not only can't, I don't want to leave Ed sitting in the car too long and still can't wander around Disney property just yet. So Josh and I are heading back out. Josh is gonna say hi before he flies out tomorrow. And that was my Disney adventure for today, but huge thank you to Ed for letting me wander around while he sat in the car. So hopefully he enjoys the sweet treat that Josh is bringing him right now. We'll see. So Josh brought you a little present. That's true. It's a special hazelnut. I it's, don't know what it was. It's the Chewbacca special cupcake for Star Wars opening. It's a chocolate hazelnut cupcake. It actually sounded really good on the description in there. It sounds like plastic right now, but it looks good. <laughs> they got the case special for you. She had to go hunt one down for you. I'm excited. It's very, yeah. it's very glittery too. And glittery and it's like if Chewbacca was heading out for a club night. Perfect. But it looks good. Yeah, and you got your pins. And I did, and my magnet, and huge thanks to Josh. So. Yeah, and I hid in the car. You did. And now we got to head home. Actually, we got to get the car washed from spilled coffee uh -huh. yesterday. Head home, finish getting ready for the hurricane, and eat. eat. So we got a little bit ahead of us still today. It's but right. that was a fun little outing. At least you got to see people besides me. I did. And I got to go run around and look at all the crazies in the pool right now. I'm like, it's nasty out. Why in the pool? It's raining. I just started raining. Vacation. Yeah. Lunchtime. Let's head out. Lunch. Okay, we got ourselves some lunch. We came back home. And now the most important part of this outing. Well, I think, I don't know if it's the most important thing, but a, uh, a cupcake certainly helps anything. So I'm excited. Did you want some? Well, yeah, I want some of that too. I was why I brought a fork. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's filled or not. It looks like it is Ooh. filled down. I gave you a little bit too extra, so I'm going to give you a little bit more. And I'm just going to go for it. All right, the inside definitely has, I think it's supposed to be Nutella this time. And then, good to get a little, a little Disney action in our cupcakes. And you're wearing your Mickey Mouse polo. Oh yeah. Whew, that's sweet. It's good. Um, it seems like they have a chocolate. I think there is Nutella on the inside and the rest of it is just a chocolate buttercream, but it's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is kind of fun when you can bring a little bit of Disney home and sit in your own house eating your cupcake. It's sweet. It's sweet and chocolatey. You know what it is? When you're on vacation or when you're on Disney property, you're going so wild you don't realize how sweet this is. You remove the Disney context. That is a sweet treat. But it is actually kind of good. This one's like dense and rich. I like it. But it's sweet. So Ed wanted us to keep showing you guys our hurricane preparedness and I figured one of the things I could show you is right now I'm going to have to pack up his medicines to be all together and move them into whatever room we're going to shelter in because fortunately in our house, we were able to separate the medicines into another room so we could keep the dogs away when I'm giving them to him and dispensing them. But everything's about to change for the rest of the weekend. But here, when I told you how much of a challenge it was to manage these medications that he never took before, let me take you on a tour of all of this. Okay, so I have everything neatly dispensed out into things for the different days of the week. So that's for the steroids, which are four times a day, and then the regular meds. So we're keeping ourselves organized. Today is gonna be the day that I have to refill everything, but let's jump over here. So that is the antibiotic that he just finished. Then we have a seizure med, and we have some muscle relaxers for where they cut into his scalp. We have his steroids that were tapering. We have Tylenol. We have the pain meds here that he was taking in addition to that. We have blood pressure meds. We have another seizure med. We have heartburn meds that he's supposed to take to help counteract the effects of that seizure med. So it's just kind of wild, all of the stuff that we have to manage here. And then on top of that, twice a day, rubber gloves and bacitracin onto his suture line. So a lot of stuff to manage here, to say the least. Hey Splinter, is it nap time? Nap time? Nap time. 
What did your brother say? Where's your brother? Hey, Cal, is it nap time? Were you already napping? Listen to that tale. Cal thinks it's nap time, that's a good idea. Well, it was an interesting day. We started off at Pop Century today. I think we had a lot of ambitions and we got a lot done. Got some more hurricane preparedness done. Yeah. Even though we didn't need to do much more because fortunately right now it's looking up, but we're ready for it to shift back a little bit too. Yeah. I, I mean, it could shift. I'm not... Mm. I don't feel like we're out of it yet. We're not out of the woods, but we're ready if it ramps back up into something more than it looks like again right now. Yeah. But, it's, you know, you're always going to be a little nervous. I, I think you can't not be, but mm -hmm. it's fine. And after our nap just now, I made some yummy dinner for me and you, some spam fried rice. I don't know. I get these ideas in my head and I envision them. And then it was basically spam vegetables and rice on a plate. But it was good. It was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it... it I probably should have saved it because that would have <laughs> actually been the perishable stuff instead of stuff that we have to use in the freezer. But I let you do it, so it's fine. You can still, you have four more cans of Spam. Yeah. Okay. You couldn't eat the rice without all cooking. Right, you couldn't right, eat right, the vegetables. All right, all right. So I used up some of the things in case the freezer goes. Yeah. Yeah. And while I think we were going to venture out for ice cream, we just planted ourselves on the sofa here and we're like, no, it's a night in tonight. It might. It might be. That's the thing. Like, uh, that's the one thing I think that's the hardest for me still is like, Taking a shower is still about a 45 minute process. And that's up next on the list right now. And it's now. not enjoyable. Yep. It's not therapeutic. It's not, it is mechanic and frustrating and you don't feel like yourself and you smell like the baby shampoo and just. But once you get those sutures out and get cleared for a real shower, even if you still have to use a shower seat for safety, yeah. you can just go back to your own product. Yeah. So like, you know, it, it is a little bit, it, it, again, it's one of those little things that you don't think of. Oh, who cares? You just take a shower. Well, you don't realize it's... smell different. Yeah, you yeah. don't... Yeah, you, little things like that are really It's not impactful. your shower anymore. Yeah. It just and becomes it, a shower. And you can't do it... You just... You know, not since I've been a toddler have I really had to worry about how I shower, how I want to shower with my thing and my... You know, and so it's just... You know, that stinks. But we so, may or may not go on ice cream. We may or not may not. Uh, sometimes I get really tired after this process because it's, it's probably a little bit stress and... a well, probably a lot of stress, and probably it's, you know, like I said, probably mm -hmm. 45 minutes to shower. Yep. It's crazy. And I look much shorter than you right now because we have the two puppies between us right here, so I'm like leaning over to Ed. Um, but in the event that the shower does bring the end of your night for us to just relax here on the sofa, thank you for joining us for an yeah. outing day today of a whole bunch of just weird things where we're like, we're going to do stuff today. It, we got through the coffee spill. <laughs> Yesterday was a little bit of a downer day. Today yeah. was much more up. We got more done. Yeah. I think you were prepared for more downer, and it didn't happen, fortunately. So Mostly. Yeah. If you want to keep seeing Ed pushing through this progress here and keep heading out, make sure to give this video... <laughs> what choice a, do I have? <laughs> well, but you want the support of everybody. Okay. All right. Make sure to give it a thumbs up to show Ed. Yeah. Uh, you know, keep trucking along. And you. And me. I'm trucking along, too. Let's not forget oh, I'm yeah. taking care of things. Yep. Make sure you... Because this is technically started as a Disney video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a new video yeah you have a job here oh I, oh yeah it's a regular well, we video. used to have a whole thing and now you know yeah, no no we're going for the whole thing uh take uh, take the link to the video and share because and really right now you never know who we might be reaching that who needs that little boost today so yep. yeah to see that after a bad day comes a good day yeah. and in the event that there is no ice cream or, in our or back and forth yes Yep, yeah. that's true. It's a little bit of a roller coaster ride right now. Yeah. But in the event that we don't get back out for ice cream, have a great night, everybody. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>